everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. And today, we're gonna be talking about something new, something different, something bold. Just kidding, we're talking about planted substrates again. Let's check it out. If you watched my video that I did yesterday about the Seachem fluorite gravel products, this is the sister video where we were talking about the Seachem sand, fluorite sands for planted tanks. If you decide to go with a fluorite sand for your planted aquarium, it doesn't matter if you choose the fluorite sand or the fluorite black sand, the difference in color is entirely up to the aesthetics that you want your tank to look like. The onyx sand is a little bit of a different story. It is a little bit of a grayer hue, but I will get into why that is different at the end of our video. The chemical basics of these sands are exactly the same as the gravels. So if you watch the gravel video, this is going to be a very similar video. These substrates are described by Seachem as a specially fracted, stable, porous clay sand. It says gravel, but in this case, it's a sand. To break that down, basically what that means is it is a naturally occurring clay substrate. One of the best things about these sands as opposed to other planted substrates is that it will not break down in your tank over time. These sands are entirely clay based. So by themselves, they do not have any fertilizing properties or fertilizing benefits to your tank just by themselves but consider them more like a sponge. When any fertilizers are added into your tank, whether it be the liquid variety, any of the entire Seachem line of products, which we do carry all of them here, this is just a few for some examples. If you add in any liquid additives or any root tabs, the substrates will absorb them, kind of like charging up the substrate bed, and it will distribute them across the entire sand bed and it will dissolve them into the water and have the plants uptake the nutrients as they need it over time. Besides these sponge-like qualities of these sands, the only other benefits to using these, if you are not manually editing additives, is just going to be purely for aesthetics, what you want your tank to look like, and the possibility of using additives in the future. If you just get started now and you're not really sure, don't really want to start using additives now, you will always have the ability to do that in the future and its ability to uptake those nutrients does not get hindered over time. One of the main differences between using a planted sand and a planted gravel substrate between the two of them is that it has been said that the sand will hold stem plants in place a little bit better and it will not damage the stems of the plants as you plant them in as opposed to the gravels. Sometimes people have some difficulty planting these stem plants, getting them to stay in place, and sometimes you can damage the stems if you plant them incorrectly in the gravel, just trying to get them to stay put. Another big benefit for using sand over a gravel is that they are a lot more gentler for bottom dwellers like quarry cats, so it doesn't damage their stomachs or their mouths or their noses when they are foraging through the sands, sifting it around and looking for food. Using a sand as opposed to a gravel opens you up to a lot more different fish species, such as bottom dwellers, uh, eels, quarry cats, rope fish, geophagus, any earth eater species as they can sift through the sand a lot easier than sifting through the gravel. They won't damage their stomachs and they can't choke on it. So now we are going to be talking about the onyx sand and why that is different from the fluorite sand and fluorite black sand. The main difference and one of the only differences between the onyx sand and the other sands is that it does have a slight buffering capacity. It can raise your pH from up to 0.1 to 0.5. The buffering capacity of the onyx sand depends on the water chemistry of the tank that you are adding it in. That will determine how much your tank does get buffered. So if you do decide to go with this variety, just make sure you are monitoring your pH in your alkalinity levels when you first start out so you can determine how much your water does get buffered. That being said, this substrate is absolutely phenomenal for plants that utilize bicarbonates. Another use for the onyx sand outside of a planted tank substrate is that it can work very well with fish species that like a higher pH. If your natural water chemistry out of your tap does come out to be a little bit high, just make sure you monitor what your pH levels come in as in the first beginning stages of using this sand. All of these substrates 
can be used in a regular tank freshwater aquarium. They do not have to be used in a tank that is just for live plants. So if you just are getting started out, you maybe want the possibility of doing live plants in the future, but don't really necessarily want to do it now. Or if you just like how they look, you are totally more than welcome. It's totally safe to use these substrates in a tank that does not have live plants in it. These planted substrates are most effective when they are used just by themselves as it has a better distributing factor for your fertilizers, but you can use it when mixed with other gravels and sands. It's true that these are all natural, they are not chemically coated, and the fluorite sand and fluorite black sand will not alter your pH in any way. And they will not break down over time into mud or silt or any finer sediments. They will retain their integrity during the duration of your tank life. These substrates do come pre-washed, but since they are an all natural substrate, the friction from moving the bags, from shipping, from transporting will cause dust to form. So when adding it into your tank, it can cloud your water. If you are adding this into a tank that doesn't have any water in it, add it along the whole bottom and then you can either place a plastic sheet or a bowl or anything to obstruct the flow of water when adding it in so it does not bother the sand bed. If you are adding it into an already established aquarium that has water in it, it will cloud your tank. But using any type of water clarifier or or fine mechanical filtration will eradicate that cloudiness very quickly. To wrap it up today, these are phenomenal substrates that have lots of great benefits for using in a planted aquarium or regular freshwater non-planted aquarium alike. They come in a variety of different colors. They are a great addition to your aquarium gravel collection. If you want to hear more about different types of aquarium substrates, stay tuned to a video I'm doing next week where I will be talking about substrates that have actual fertilizing capacities into them. But until then, keep it fresh.